There's a lot of good things to say about this flashlight, but also a few negatives. Vostit, 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 I'm not sure how to say that, but Vostit makes predominantly knives as far as I know. But now they partnered with Raylight to create the Rook, Rook, or Rock? No, Rook. <laughs> A small everyday carry flashlight made out of anodized aluminium that is 1 meter impact resistant and waterproof IPX7. It has this chess inspired design of a tower, which I actually quite like, and I love this bright orange color. Speaking of, the three LED lights are set to 4000 Kelvin, which looks yellowish at night if you are not familiar with Kelvin. I really like this yellowish look because it is much easier on the eyes in the dark. When you switch off the light, the front actually glows. Together with the bright orange, this makes the light easier to find in your bag or on the ground if you might drop the light. That being said, it doesn't glow that long but it is a nice touch nevertheless. The Rook feels great in the hand and is even small enough to carry in your pants pockets. You can also attach it to your belt with this pocket clip. In terms of quality this pocket clip feels great but I don't really like the look. It doesn't fit to the rest of the flashlight that has a lot of attention to detail. The flashlight is powered by a 1100 mAh battery that you can charge via USB-C which is a great touch. No need for an extra charger when you're traveling or you are at the office. Obviously the battery life will depend on the light mode you select and you have overall 7 modes to choose from all between 0.5 lumens which is the moon mode and 1800 lumens. I did not want to test the runtime of the flashlight because in the highest mode the flashlight does run warm fairly quickly and supposedly the moon mode runs 7 days and honestly I don't want to keep the flashlight running for 7 days. But from the spec sheet it is supposed to run 7 days in moon and 1.2 hours in the highest mode. I like to take these numbers with a grain of salt. But from my personal testing I did not have to recharge it for at least 3 weeks or more with using it about 15 minutes per day at night. Now let's go over some of the things that I do not like. I really like the look and the incredible build, which is why the button really let me down. The build of the button is amazing, but the button press and the haptics, yeah, not so much. Obviously, this is literally a feeling, therefore consider this very subjective. This metal button wiggles too much and actually also has this scratchy feel and sound to it. Plus, the actuation point isn't here nor there for my personal taste, meaning it is not great to switch on or off. Plus, the half button press is not as properly to hit as you might need. It just doesn't feel clear when you actually do a half press. Because I use a camera almost daily, I have a, yeah, let's say, certain expectation of a half press, to be honest. To switch between modes you need to half click the button and because the actuation point in my humble opinion isn't that well balanced, more often than not I switch the light off or tap too lightly and not actually switch the modes. This is even accentuated due to the wobbly feel of the button. Furthermore, this button has to do a lot. Not only is it to switch the light on and off, toggle modes, but also to enter the programming and setting mode. Truth to be told, I did not fully understand the manual which was explained clearly once you actually get a hang of it. But in the beginning together with the not 100% clear button feel, I just had difficulties getting through the menu. Therefore I had to watch the tutorial multiple times, which by the way is really good. Once I saw the tutorial I had this ah that's how that's supposed to work feeling and the manual became much more understandable. In other words, the menu programming system is way too complicated or at least cumbersome and I respect Vosteed for including it, but I'm not 100% sure if it's actually necessary. In the end, a flashlight is a tool, especially an everyday carry version this small. I need a few different brightness modes and that's basically it. Plus, due to it being a simple tool, everything needs to work properly, especially the button. Don't get me wrong, my Nightcore T4KS buttons are quite mushy, but each button only has to do one function. One is on and off and the other one switches modes. 
Plus the buttons are so small that there is no side to side wobble. They go down in one line just like on a mechanical keyboard. But on the Vosteed Rook, the side to side wobble feel makes the actuation point very unclear. And this becomes very important if that button has to do multiple actions. Now, what's my verdict about the Vosteed Rook flashlight? I do like the output of the flashlight and that's what a flashlight has to do, give me a good quality light. Moreover the flashlight looks amazing, it's very durable not only because of the high quality aluminium but also because of the sapphire glass protecting the lens. The only but big downside is the feel of the one and only button. In combination with the complicated menu system, granted you probably only have to set it once, this can make or break your buying decision. Personally, the button is annoying to me, however, I know that I can get used to it and the light output is what is the most important on a flashlight. If you aren't that picky about the button feel like I am and you are looking for a very well built flashlight with a great quality light output, then check out the Vosteed Rook flashlight. And if you consider buying one, check out the link below. With that affiliate link you don't pay more, but you support the channel with a small kickback from that sale. If you have any more questions, could you all please concentrate on what we have to do? So everyone, you need beef. to sub stop with the beef. We don't need the beef. All right, people, you need to subscribe, push the notification bell, Where's and push the stop beef? with the beef. I forgot what I wanted to say. Okay, subscribe, push the notification bell, and uh, push the like button. Thank you very much. Hey, stop. Also check out my podcast, Instagram, and second channel at You Know The Bow. Stay safe and healthy, everyone, and I see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.